Welcome to Bits of History. My name is Lee Poleski, President of the Resurrection Bay Historical Society. Today's Bit of History deals with the Jesse Lee home and is from the November 7th, 1931 Seward Daily Gateway. Here's the article. Sewardites will be interested in learning that the Jesse Lee home farming venture this summer was marked with success and good results. The ground was broken for part of the garden by May 1, and planting started in earnest. Radishes, onions, turnips, cabbage, beets, chard, carrots, lettuce, and kohlrabi were planted, as well as about nine-tenths of an acre of potatoes. The seed potatoes were secured from Matanuska. They were late in arriving and delayed the planting somewhat. Field crops include about an acre of oats and peas, which were later cut and put into the silo, making several tons of green food. A half acre of barley was also put into the silo. Besides the above fodder, there was about a third of an acre of kale, which is to be fed to the cows and chickens. The garden, year for, the garden yield for the year was extra good, and about 30,000 radishes were pooled. The cookery department was furnished with all the lettuce they could use, several thousand green onions, and all the greens the children cared for. 200 quarts of vegetables were canned, and the cellars were stored with about a half ton of turnips, about 500 pounds of rutabagas, 400 pounds of beets, and 300 pounds of cabbage. The Jesse Lee poultry has done very well this year. They have 85 hens and about 70 young chicks, which were raised this summer. The home has also begun raising rabbits this summer. They have four at present, three of which are pedigreed fur rabbits of the chinchilla breed. The remainder of the livestock includes eight milk cows, which furnished the home with all the milk that was needed throughout the summer and a great quantity of butter. There are also 17, 18 pig, I'm sorry, there are 19 pigs included in the livestock consisting of three brood sows, one herd sire, and 12 young pigs which are being fattened. Last but not forgotten are the goats. There are seven milking now and three to freshen this winter. The goats furnish much of the milk for the children at the Jesse Lee home. Many of the photographs and both drawings used in this segment came from the Cuyot, the Northern Lights, a school newspaper which was written and published six times a year by the children and staff of the Jesse Lee home. Thanks for listening to this bit of history. To learn more about Seward's history, visit the Seward Museum.